hello friends i pray that you all are doing well god bless you so uh for the longest time i've not been on social media and partly it's because um some of the things god was asking me to do were very difficult because it is so much my weakness but he wanted me to use my weakness to come out and speak and um I felt like Jonah. He reminded me of me being like Jonah because of the way I was running away from just coming out and speaking his word. So eventually here I am and the words are not easy like I said. So um, one of the uh, things that kept me from coming back up here was when I was I recorded all the videos I have probably like 10 videos I've recorded but I've never posted them one of them is after I finished recording something took me to YouTube and a man of God wrote that why is it that Christian ministers are fighting each other and bringing each other down that sounds mean it doesn't sound godly right why are we tearing each other down we're supposed to have unity in the body of Christ but God is showing me something different. It is not that we're here to tear anybody down. There are ministers who are coming out in the name of God, but they are not called by God. They're not moved by God. They are using other powers to manipulate the children of God. And so many people, so many children of God have lost their souls meaning lost their souls you could be walking you could be talking you know what they uh, talk about being dead but you're alive you could be walking talking but your spirit is a slave somewhere else so god has been showing me stuff and it will feel as if when i come out here and speak them it will sound as though i'm being against certain people but it, this is the truth I, some of them, some of them, I've had my own personal experience with these people. I just want you all to know. I know some people may not be happy. It is what it is. But I want you to know today. If the Spirit of God is really moving you and within you, you will know that behind everything, every word, there is a Spirit. When someone say. I'm going to fail. Things are not going to work out for me. There is a spirit behind that. When someone say, I am going to get this, I'm going to win. There is a spirit behind that. And I want you to know that some of the biggest ministers um, that we know, some of, some of them are even shameless. Shameless enough that they would come out. And they're teaching the children of God magic. Oh God, I really, I'm, I'm shocked. It's bothering me that people would be in church and they cannot tell when someone is telling you that they're going to teach you about how to open your third eye and you would pay $3,000, $500 to learn all that. We have Google. You can Google what a third eye is. It is not Christian. It is not Christ-like. It is not godly. There are things people are doing. People, people feel they're in the spirit. You feel like the Holy Spirit is moving you. You are praying and all this thing. When you are in church, you see some people just jumping and screaming. And you say it's the move of the Holy Spirit. But it's not. The, if you read the Bible, God say even in the last day, the very elect should be deceived. What does that mean? Even people like me could be deceived. So I, when I come out here, it is out of love. When I name those people, it is so that you are saved. You get saved from, from losing yourself. There is, um, when, uh, you guys remember when, uh, I was having services every Sunday with you guys and I spent so much time worshiping with you guys here and there. And, um, some of you guys received 
the Holy Spirit, some of you guys were waiting to speak in tongues. You started speaking in tongues and there was so much going on. But then eventually, um, eventually, some people, many ministries started coming up. And some people started listening to me and listening to other people. So I went ahead and I, uh, I went ahead and I just let them, all I told them is as long as your spirit, you feel God leading you to listen to those people you are following, that's fine. I can't tell you, oh no, don't listen to anybody. One of my followers, and I believe he knows himself, he ended up being targeted hi he ended up being targeted and um spiritually he became unstable to the point that it was so bad that at that time even though no matter how deeply prayerful i was no matter how deeply i was able to do things you know, I could pray, I I helped people, you know, um, we were just experiencing so much wonders, so much miracles, signs and wonders, people were just testifying good things. I just didn't feel like involving myself in going to do a deliverance. You get it? Because I'm here to warn you. And when I warn you, there are other smart people who reach out to me and they're like, oh, Lorian, um, there is this lady I listened to and she told me, you know, if I want to get married, um, I should go and put this thing. Uh, she's from India. I should put this thing in four areas of my house and then whatever, whatever, whatever. And uh, she will send me some of her clothes. I'll wear them. Several people say stuff like that. And I told them, I say, stop. Don't do none of that. Do you know? the first person who's ever seen lucifer face to face is from india you guys don't know you don't know what's happening you really don't know be careful pray find god for yourself don't don't be so weak to the point that you you allow things that you you are not sure of you you start following things you don't know like I, I don't know how to put it but sometimes you do just a little research even if you don't listen to me if someone said they're going to teach you how to open your third eye you'll be seeing angels and everything let me tell you you will be seeing demons demons are fallen angels you will see them they will come into you they will take over your bodies do you know why these people teach you those stuff because every let me tell you the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light we are both evangelists we are both trying to win souls. They are winning souls for the devil. We are winning souls for God. So every time you listen to them and you follow their, their instructions is a trap they're setting up for you. So that when a demon enters you, they win you over to darkness. You get it. When they win you over to darkness, if you do these things knowingly, it will be difficult to come out very difficult and i'm praying that you guys will actually take this thing seriously seriously i have videos i am going to come out and name some of these people because the spirit behind them it is not even about what i'm seeing it, it is actually what i know the spirit speaks god speaks i hear i see for the most part, I would just sit in my room and I would cry. I would be hurting. I would talk to everybody that know me, my sisters, my husband, different people. But I just never come out to say these things because I just felt afraid for some reason. I wasn't strong enough to come out. But it hurts me when lives are lost. I, I, I don't know simple google search if you can't listen to me google some things someone comes and say use salt and rub it over your body and you go and do it as a christian why 
I know a sister who went and used salt to bathe herself and she ended up mad. She, her whole, her whole, um, how do I say, destiny is destroyed. Ladies and gentlemen, let me not go further. I'm actually about to go for my appointment. So I pray that you all will be watching more, share my videos with people to be careful about all this stuff. And I will come back and share more with you guys. God bless you.